as it left my lips, I was like, no. <laughs> I'll tell you what it was. I come into New York, I'm hanging out with my buddy Matt, right? He insists I stay with him. He's like, bro, you're staying in New York, you're gonna stay with me, man. I want you to crash with me. And I was like, all right, it'll be like old times, right? Well, I'll crash. He goes, yeah, I get the futon all ready for you, dude. Futon is ready to go. <laughs> And the thing was, I got there, and he had the futon frame, but not the mattress. <laughs> he laid, like, bounty towels down. <laughs> so I'm staying with Matt, and here's what happens. After a few days, he comes in one day, right? He comes in, and he goes right to his freezer, right? He goes right to the freezer. He doesn't even really say hello to me, right? He kind of was like, uh, uh. And then he opens his freezer, and he's peering inside. He's like this. <sighs> Uh, and then he looks back at me and he goes, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm like, what, uh, what's going on, dude? Everything okay? And then he looks back in, and he's really, now he's really, fun. he's moving shit around, and he's looking into the freezer like it's fucking Narnia, right? He's just like, <laughs> and he, he says to me, he goes, where's my ice cream? I had ice cream in here, it's just you and me in the apartment, I'd like to know where my ice cream is. And I said to him, I go, I, I, go, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, that's, it would be in the freezer. That's the best place for it. <laughs> then he goes, fuck that dude. Fuck that dude. I fucking ice cream in that freezer, man. Where is it? And I go, I, I'm telling you that right now. I'm like, honestly, I didn't, I didn't eat your ice cream. He goes, it's just you and me here, dude. I was thinking about that ice cream all day. And I go, uh, I go, well, that's pathetic. <laughs> That's what you do at work? You just sit there and think of creamy delights? Right? <laughs> and he looks back in, he goes, fuck, and he gets like, he gets really enraged. He just takes a step, he goes, you ate it, dude. Just admit it that you ate it. You ate my fucking ice cream. And now I feel like I'm in a corner. So I stand up and I go, I didn't eat your ice cream, Matt, okay? I didn't eat your fucking ice cream. He keeps coming at me. Finally, I said the thing I didn't want to say. I go, dude, I swear to God on my unborn child's life. I didn't eat your ice cream. And yeah, as it came out of my lips, I was like, um, too much. <laughs> Over an ice cream debacle. <laughs> I really regret it. I re and here's the reason I regret it. Because someday, what if years from now, I meet my beautiful wife, right? And we make love. And she's about to give birth, right? And there we are, right, in the hospital, and she, she gives birth. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna palm it. Just go with me here. I don't have time to pantomime a whole actual baby birth. So let's just say it's like this. And I start thinking, what if something happens during the birth due to childbirth complications? What if the baby doesn't make it? The first thing I'm gonna think about is, fuck, now Matt thinks I ate his ice cream. 